Good afternoon, FS Club. Welcome back, channel, and welcome to FS Daily News. Ready, middle of the week already, and still got lots of news to go over. I mean, we just keep getting more and more news. We got some news on a brand new yard truck, plus some news on what we could expect from custom modding in just a few days. But before we get to that news, I want you to blow up the comments and the likes. Let's see if we can hit over 500 likes and let's say maybe 100 hashtag FS daily news. If we do, I might do something special this weekend. But anyways, roll that intro. Let's get to that news. Here we go. Make sure that you don't miss out. Just be there. We're taking our shot with what you got. We're going all the way to the top. Welcome back. Okay, so here we go with the first piece of news for this Wednesday. The first one we have is from Custom Modding. He just actually posted this, what, like 17 minutes ago from the minute I'm recording at 11.18 a.m. He had this to say, though, John Deere season. Just as we have a lot of case mods, we will also have a lot of John Deere mods coming out in the next few days. So could we be seeing a lot of John Deere's coming out in the next few days from custom modding? Let's hope so. Anyways, as you guys can see from this picture right here, we have the S760s, the 770s, the 780s, and the 790s. And of course, there's John Deere 4940 self-propelled sprayer, which we've seen that on the testing list. Uh, he has the C850 air cart the P576 Air Ho Drill, and of course the 7R Series. So it would be nice if in the next two weeks we see every single one of these coming. And we also can't forget about his honeybees, which everybody's been waiting for that one. Okay, now let's get to the next piece of news, which this is from Kalaruga Modding Design. They have to say though, we start a new season and welcome Rhino Agro, I think that's how you say that, as a new brand for farming simulator. We just keep getting more and more new brands. Rhino Agro is dedicated to the online sale of trailers, tanks, and platforms. He will be working to design a pack of several of their machines. More news will be coming very soon on that. So another brand will be coming to Farming Simulator. That's exciting. Now we're going to be talking about a new mod that will be coming out very soon from Gaia and FS. This is the Case Magnum series, which has now been finished and sent off for testing. And those rice tires on there looks really good. So if you're playing on a South American map, this is going to be probably your tractor right there which we're gonna be talking about a lot of stuff that has now been sent over to the testing list. So we've got that one, and now another one from Hulse FS. A Cedar has been submitted to the mod hub. Now he just has to wait for the testing to start. So we're about to see this Cedar right here, which you guys can see in Mossy Ferguson MF326, has the Voltra Fine BP2617, and looks really good. And then another one that's been sent off for testing is from Dutch Mining. His grain elevator has now been resubmitted to the mod up. Hopefully this time it can finally pass. And then now the last one to talk about that's been sent over to the testing list is from MS Modi. He had this to say, hello guys, sorry he's been quiet the past few days. The cattle crush was sent back to him with a small error, but is now back with giants. Also, Perbeck Farm is still a work in progress, but he will be releasing more info about the map in the coming days. Now let's talk about some news from Senior Vertex. This is about his Valmet 4x2 version is almost ready for the basic part of in-game and soon they'll be adding the optional ones. After that, he will be adjusting the 4x2 to make it 4x4 version and he will be finishing it with the installation of stickers and sounds. And this will be a little surprise he says about that. Next, we have some news from Gamer Design about his Lizard 669. Of course, he has been working on it and some of the things he had to do was make a buncher head functioning on it. Well, guess what? That is done. Now he's got the final dirt map on the Lizard 669 Buncher Head done. He's slowly but surely making some progress on this. Then we can also expect a update coming from Puma 145. He had this to say, ready to go finally. He has spent the last month improving and changing 90% of the map. What map you're asking? That is the Snovka. So it's now going to be version 1.0.1.0. He also had to say, maybe at first glance you won't see it, but everything has been redone. Map has now been sent to the mod up. Hopefully it will be up very soon. And then now on to the last piece of news we have for today. And this is from Pascal Kutz. I believe that's how you say that. But anyways, he of course is the same guy who brought us the medium warehouse, which I use a lot. That thing is amazing. But now he has probably brought something that will help us with that medium warehouse and that is basically a yard truck. So as you see from this picture right here, it looks really good. So that means we don't have to have, you know, big old trucks moving in and out or whatever. But anyways, he had to say about it though, the yard truck got rejected again, 
but the issues have been fixed and it has been sent in again. So keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully this passes this next time. Okay, so that is it of the regular news for today. Let's go over that testing list and then we'll finish up for the day. Okay, so welcome to the testing list portion of this video. The testing list seems like it's getting smaller, like the things that are in testing, but the number is actually getting bigger. Okay, so let's go over some notable PC ones for today. We have, let's see, a Case IH Farm Lift 742. Uh, let's see, a Corner Shed, a uh, Free Range Chicken Coop. And as you see right there, the John Deere 4940 self propelled sprayer is still in testing. So hopefully we see that before Friday. Uh, John Deere pickup pack. I wonder what that could be. Um, let's see, medium storage shed, a solid shed pack, the construction map, and the lost corner. The one thing I do not see in there is the honeybees. So the honeybees might have failed again. So just be patient, guys. Okay, now in testing on the console side right now, we have the CSZ pack, the John Deere 4755. Uh, the John Deere 8000 series actually did come out today. And then last but not least is Osada. Number of miles we to be tested is 249. Current average wait time is eight working days. Like I said, the days are actually going up on that. So that might be because of course they are testing their new DLC. So that right there is the news and testing list for today. And that testing list seems to be getting bigger and bigger. Already up almost over 250 mods. Anyways though, as you see the days are getting bigger too, I think it is because they are actually testing out the new DLC that's gonna be coming out in a few weeks. Anyways though, today's schedule after this video, I will have a live stream at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, but I need your guys' help. What map should we do tonight? Should we do Middlebrook, which is a map by Nitro Dad that is a four times map, has tons and tons of production, or should we do Welker's Farm? I'm kind of leaning towards Middlebrook because, I mean, there is so much to do on that map. Anyways, low. let me know in the comment section below which one you guys pick. Also, remember, if you guys did enjoy the video, which hopefully every single one of you guys did, make sure to smash that like button. Remember, we're trying to get over 500 likes on this video. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. But I'll see you guys tonight. Peace.